And I came to Tennessee as a sophomore in high school. First time I saw him play in 1950. My mother took my dad and me out before daylight. And we caught the Greyhound or Trailway bus, one or the other, there before daylight, and we took the express bus. And I never forget, they let us out at Ellis and Ernest Drugstore, right on the stadium drive. My dad and I walked down, cold day, walked down to the stadium, and on the way down, we heard the crowd roar. <laughs> Tennessee Stadium was big and impressive. And, uh, I wanted to play big time football, but I didn't think I could. The next day, Farmer Johnson took my dad and me in to, to meet the general. Farmer Johnson introduced my dad, this is Coach Shirley Majors, and his son John, and we were recruiting. The general says, oh, how much do you weigh? And before I could say 155, which is about five pounds, heavy, whatever, Farmer Johnson said, 170, general. I never really thought I could play big time football, but I knew I, I knew I was going to give it a try. I had nightmares in the summer about, about coming to Tennessee, and my main objective at Tennessee, I didn't want I could stay alive or not, but I thought they'd kill me up here. First, I didn't think I'd survive the first scrimmage, and I was very, very anxious. I'd say scared, pretty well frightened, but I had to show up. I got banged around. I don't know how much, how many times, and how many people gang tackled me. But I, then I, I made about a seven or eight yard run, and one or two people missed me, you know, breaking up field, running for my life, but I kept it against the varsity. I made one about 25 yards. I didn't make a touchdown, a long touchdown that day. When I made this 20 or yard, five yard run or so, and about four or five people missed me, General always set about 15 rows high in the West Stands, and he, most time he didn't have his shirt on in early fall. He had sh his army khaki shorts, and he wore his coaching hat. And he always had his he always had his stopwatch. When I made that one run, he yelled from the stadium, "Who's number 15?" Farmer Johnson, the defensive line coach, "That's Majors from Huntland, General." Well, when the practice is over. I was pretty sore, and I, I got dressed. I went to Ellis and Ernest Drugstore. They had a pay phone in the drugstore. Went up there and called Collect. I didn't have 45 cents to make a long distance call. Call Collect, and my dad answered the phone. That, that, that kind of gets me emotional, too, but I'd say, Daddy, they missed tackles in college just like they did in high school. I was thrilled to death that they missed me. I was thrilled to be living.